Shout out to Edward Polanco on Patreon for 13 months of support. Get weekly goods, tutorial files, mockups, templates, items from my store, and more, as well as supporting the free tutorials on my channel. Check out my Patreon in the description below. What's up guys, Quezzy or Noah here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today we're going to be in Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you how I created this Germany kit design. Now this is probably my most requested tutorial in about two years. I've been getting a lot of DMs on Instagram about how I did this. Uh, so I really wanted to cover it because it's very simple uh, and I could fit in a few other things. So for example, I'm also going to be covering this design because it's part of this. And I think at the end I'll throw in how I did this France design, which has become, I think, my most popular kit design on Instagram, which by the way, you should follow me on Instagram, that's Quezzy, as well as my Twitter, Quezzy, where I post these if you're interested. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be covering this design mainly, but these two designs I'll feature as well. And we're going to go over into Photoshop to get started. Now I'm going to be working in a normal Photoshop document, not a mock-up, just to save time since we're just covering the design part of this. Um, and by design part, I mean like the colorful sides of that Germany kit. Um, so obviously the black blank front is whatever, but we're going to be covering the sides. I'm using a pretty big image size here for my document. It's 2,226 by 3,358, uh, if you're curious. And I'm using these red and yellow colors. So this red is D83135. And the yellow is FFCC29, which this was based on the Germany kit that I made. By the way, if you're curious, the templates I used for that kit design are this Adidas standard template mockup from templatefc.com, which is my website, and the hanger version. Um, both of these actually come with avatars, so you can get like little dummies here for this one and a hanger for this one, but you can have both of those hidden if you don't want them. Uh, but if you are interested in that, you can go ahead and check that out. But let's go ahead and get started with the design. So the base of this design is actually the design from the home kit. So we're going to go ahead and create a background that's white. So I'm going to create a new layer, press command delete to fill it with my background color. But we're going to press command U and bring the saturation down. So we just have a gray to work with because we're going to be using black. So we can't have a black background. And we're going to go ahead and get the rectangle tool here. Um, and create a rectangle across our screen or across our document rather and my edges are always rounded so I'm going to set that to zero and this could be whatever width you want uh, I'm going to go a little thinner so I'm going to press command T I'm going to hold shift and decrease the width a little bit so it's something like that and then let's duplicate it twice I'm going to grab the middle one and bring it down and line it up and then grab the um, third one and do the same so there shouldn't be any gaps. There is a tiny gap there that I see. So I'm going to hit up on the keyboard once, select both of these and hit up on the keyboard once together. <clears throat> okay. So I actually want these in order of the highest to lowest. So it's actually reversed now. So I'm going to bring this one down and then this one down. So now they should be in order. And this top one, I'm going to double click the color, make it black, click. Okay. The middle one is going to be red, I believe. So we're going to get our red that I have. And then the final one is this yellow. So you can see we re recreated the Germany flag basically. And I'm going to select all of these actually, press command T, um, click the bottom anchor point, hold shift and make them a little smaller yet again and press command plus to zoom in a little bit. And also I'm going to come here and press align or layer uh, align horizontal centers just to make sure it's aligned and I didn't mess anything up there. Um, although that's not really that necessary, but we'll do it anyway. Then let's double click the first rectangle and go to gradient overlay. And we want exactly this. So we want a normal blend mode, 39%, and we want just black to white, 90 degree angle. So just get here and get the normal black to white, 39% normal, should be pretty easy. Click OK. We'll hide that for now. And I'm going to right click and copy layer style and holding shift select the other two rectangles right click and paste that and then hide these and you can see we have a bit of a gradient going on with our um, flag there and you'll notice these colors are a little bit dull but we'll fix that if we need to uh, but let's go ahead select all of these and press command g to group them now um, i have a brush that allows me to um, just add lines it's actually from my quasi brush pack 2 um, let me get it real fast. 
um, if you're interested you can check out my store for this um, but this is just a real easy way to add lines or striping to things so um, I'm gonna come down here and add a layer mask and you can see I have this brush and I'm gonna make it about the size of our thing here click hold shift and go across Ooh, actually I need black selected and then I'm gonna do that to create an effect like this now if you don't have a brush like this you can pretty easily create one by creating evenly spaced bars or whatever and then going to edit define brush preset right here and that will add as a, and that will add it as a brush uh, but since I have my brush there's no need to do that um, and then we're gonna actually come into that group duplicate it with command J and then we're gonna drag that down a little bit so we have something like this you can see we have a little bit of a gap at the top and bottom and there's little bits of gaps in between um, so we're gonna actually select both of these real quick command J command E to merge it and then go to filter pixelate uh, mosaic which is something we'll come back to later um, remember the number 84 and then we'll drop this down we'll go to about 16 and click OK there and then um, select that and our two groups and group them together and there is our nice um, Germany flag design which went on the front this is basically the same as this you can see the colors are a little bit different so maybe we should go ahead and fix that a while so what we're gonna do is on that group we're gonna press command J to duplicate command E to merge and then hide the group and then on that layer let's press command U and bump up the saturation and if you want to do individual like if you want to do just the yellow you could go to master go to yellow and bump that up individually and maybe change the hue a little bit so I'm gonna do plus 39 now it's not exactly like my original home kit design but it's the same techniques and that's basically how I went about doing it um, and it should work for our next step which is creating the black kit so we have this design here now so let's press command a command C command V and we can delete that um, other layer and now we just have this one so with this layer selected we're gonna go to filter distort wave and you could really do any settings here you just need some sort of wave effect so all I did was at wavelength I set the max to 187 and then the amplitude I set to 91 and then everything else is the default but you could mess around with this and it shouldn't affect the results too much so just get something like this um, you can see this is uh, like I think the first time I did it it was a lot smoother this one's a little more rough but the results will still be the same so uh, let's go to filter again pixelate and back to mosaic and we want to go back to that 84 that we had and click OK so now we get this really neat like pixelated look um, but we're not done obviously we need to go to filter and then liquify and this is where we get our awesome effect so we, we want the twirl one here the one that looks like a hurricane and we just want to kind of go crazy with this so just drag your mouse mouse around and try to get some cool looks and like mer like blend these together um, try to get a nice shape to it too that's always the most difficult part is to get a nice shape to this because it is a bit random um, let's keep going here a little bit and I think that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and press OK on that Let's go back to command U and maybe bump up the saturation one more time. Like so, click OK and there we go. There is our design. And basically all I did was press command J to duplicate and brought it down, maybe rotated it and increased the size maybe a little bit to get something like that. And then we have our black background and there we go. Um, you can see my gray is a little brighter than I think I, nor uh, I originally had, so maybe you make an adjustment there um, to darken that up. But that's essentially the design. Um, and I also promised that I would show you how I made that France kit. So a, little, a real quick tutorial, if we create a new layer, I have a brush for this. Um, and you can actually recreate this shape really easily once you see the brush that I'm talking about. So it's this one here for my Quizzy Brush Pack 3. So you can see it's this like squiggle look. 
I increase the size of it, uh, let's go and click it right in the middle. You can see we have this pretty basic shape. You should be able to recreate this. And if we press Command T on that and hold Command, click that top point, hold Shift and drag over. Hit Enter, we have this shape. Now my brush got cut off a little bit, so we have some weird edges. But you can see this shape here is the same shape I used for the France kit. This template mockup, by the way, is coming soon to Template FC if you're curious, the Nike one. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Be sure to follow my Instagram and Twitter for cool posts and jersey designs and obviously normal graphic design stuff. Uh, but jersey design is a big part of my job currently, so I've been doing a lot of it. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.